Hey guys, this video is for those of you whose furnace stopped working or is half working. So let's say your thermostat's set to 70, but it's only getting to 66 or it's just continually dropping. That means you definitely have a problem. So the very first thing you should do is try to track down what exactly is the problem. So instead of going to Google and typing in furnace not working or furnace not heating and having like 50 different solutions pop up, the purpose of this video is to show you how you can track down what exactly is wrong with your furnace and have a better idea what to look for. So 90% of furnaces will have a little sight glass on the bottom door. If you have a carrier or a Bryant or some there's a few other models that have a full panel front door. Sometimes you have to take the whole front off to see like a bottom panel and then there will be another a little sight glass down there. Uh, but anyways, that sight glass is there for a reason. There's a little blinking light in there, either one light or two lights, that's blinking an error code if there's something wrong. Or if it's normal operation, it's usually just a steady red light or a steady blinking light. And if something's wrong, if your furnace is not working correctly, that will be blinking some kind of code. Like for example, it'll be blinking two times, blink, blink, pause, blink, blink, pause, and just keep doing that over and over and over. And that's a, basically a self-diagnostic telling you what's wrong with the furnace. And typically, to see what that code means, the explanation chart that explains those codes will either be on the inside of your top door or on the inside of your bottom door somewhere right here. In my case, all I have on the bottom door is a wiring schematic. Um, most furnaces don't have this. They're, most furnaces will have the code explanations in the door or in the cabinet on the side here. But in my particular case, my codes are explained on the control board itself right here in the bottom. As you can see, there's the red blinking light. It's just blinking steady. That means normal operation, no call for heat. And on the board right here, it shows you if it were to be blinking two, three, four, or five blinks, it tells you what each one of those lights would mean. That way, when you go to Google, you can type in carrier furnace blinking 33 error code, or carrier furnace blinking low flame sense code. That way, you'll get a video specifically for what your problem is, and you can try to get it fixed, rather than going in there and trying every single little fix out there. And just one more thing you should be aware of, the bottom door, if you're gonna be taking it off, usually has a power switch or a door switch on the bottom here. And what this is, is basically a secondary power switch, just like the one on the side of your furnace. I have mine taped, so if I take the door off, the power does not get disconnected. But chances are, yours is not taped, and when you take that door off, the power will go off to the bottom of the furnace. Or not to the bottom, to the whole furnace. So. Just so you know, if the power disconnects and then you put the door back on, or if you flip the switch on and off, that basically resets the furnace. And if there was any error code, it'll disappear until that problem resurfaces again. So there you have it, guys. That is how you start troubleshooting your furnace. And that's the best way to start. There's gonna be a few people that aren't so lucky. They don't have the sight glass. They don't have error codes but only, only like very old, very few furnaces don't have this light nowadays. Most of them do. Well guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please let us know in the comment section below. And until next time, ciao.